Welcome to Ask the CEO. I'm Tyler Cohen Wood, and I'd like to introduce you to the CEO of Data DX, a company that provides the insights medical practices need to achieve long term and sustainable business results. As part of the discussion, we'll share how their partnership with Microsoft through use of Azure and the Azure Marketplace have empowered them to scale and grow their business. It's my pleasure to welcome Kate Othis. Hi, Kate. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Tyler. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Kate, when it comes to digital transformation, we typically think of large enterprises and global corporations, but really every size business is going through a digital transformation in their own unique way. Since your business focuses on the individual medical practices, what are some of the challenges that doctors and small to medium healthcare providers face when trying to go digital? That's a great question, Tyler. Healthcare in general is experiencing significant challenges, especially right now. Predicting volumes and effectively managing operations to meet those changes is a struggle. Having appropriate cash and inventory reserves to sustain any changes in practice patterns is another. And in addition, there's a lot of clinical initiatives that are changed due to policy regulations and whatnot. And sometimes even the thought of a digital transformation is quite daunting and quite expensive for healthcare businesses. So they struggle to afford it. It does force them, however, to continue to operate on antiquated and sometimes even analog systems. So the digital transformation is still happening. Payment reform is another example of attention in healthcare. Current initiatives surrounding payment reform require practices to reconcile two years of quality data or work with incapitation models that require physicians to restrict care, sometimes not to the patient's benefit. We need to come up with a third way, a hybrid, if you will, that bridges the gap and makes providing that care more affordable and accessible. Going digital is a key component to accomplishing this. That's such a great point. Oh, thanks. It's, it's a significant issue for the practices. And they, those three issues end up compounding into one pretty incredible issue, which is the inability for healthcare at large to predict and calculate the cost per unit of care. So as patients, when we go to consume care, we often walk in not knowing what it's going to cost, whether that's to the doctor or for a hospital visit. So those are some significant challenges. Those are really big challenges. So Data DX recently launched a new offering on the Microsoft Azure Marketplace to address some of these challenges that we just talked about. Can we talk about it a little bit more? Yeah, that would be great. I'd love to. The goal of Data DX is to leverage technology to democratize the tool sets available to physicians and healthcare leaders. The mission of Data DX is to help providers truly understand the cost per unit of care as practice leaders currently are running blind and basing their decisions on gut feelings or sometimes inaccurate data. So we aim to help providers run more efficient business solutions facilitating patient choices in the marketplace by keeping physician groups in their own business instead of in consolidation, which is another healthcare industry that we're faced with today. Data DX leverages technology and tool sets to help physician practices and healthcare businesses, small, medium, or large, funnel in data from multiple points. So right now, most of their data sets are siloed. So whether it's their general ledger system, their practice management system, the EMR, which patients are most familiar with, which is basically where their healthcare records are, those are all separate systems. Sometimes they talk, most of the times they don't. Um, So that leaves us all confused and running pretty blind and also working in the past. So what we're trying to do is build a tool and a product that helps healthcare work in today and in the future. So we've built this real-time system that pulls data, consolidates it from multiple sources and provides meaningful insights for their business. And we wow. use a, yeah, and we also use a combination of different Azure resources to load, process, and store the, and display that data. It's all done automatically, so the practice doesn't need to manage any of the IT or ana- analytical resources required to get that level of insights. In particular, we have found that clients come to us for specific reasons to use Data DX, in addition to automating 
their reporting platform and removing the possibility as, you know, as much as they can for errors. There are specific business issues that Data DX can help them eliminate. For example, we had a client that had a 10x payroll error. This particular practice was using 14 spreadsheets to develop their physician compensation platform or program, if you will. And this is a large medical business. They have ancillary services, you know, clinics. So they're seeing patients inside of their exam rooms, but then they're also providing treatment for their patients inside of their walls and have a lot of, you know, medical drugs that they're providing for their patients and whatnot. And so these 14 spreadsheets helped them put together all that information and also meet, you know, compliance guidelines with Stark and Antitrust because of the ancillary services they provide. But yet there were there were errors in those spreadsheets because again the spreadsheets are you know pulling from different systems and then trying to tie together and error prone, so they had that 10x payroll error and for a physician salary 10x is a pretty significant number and yes. so they came to us yeah they came to us to automate and streamline that process. Wow that that must have that must have made their day. I can't imagine 14 spreadsheets and consolidating in, it into something that's very easy that that is that works that is correct. Absolutely. They can rely on that now and worry about other things. Not worry about the accuracy of you know the deck. <laughs> that's the last thing anybody wants to worry about. That hits home too, a little too close to home. Yes. Are there any other ones you want to? It was more of a um, pediatric based example. So, you know, pediatricians rely on newborn counts for business optics. You know, they watch and yeah, they monitor communities with young families and, and where they're trending within zip codes on the, within the city. So what they do with that information is they target their marketing efforts and make sure that they have a really solid relationship with their referring physicians in those areas okay. because they, that's how they get a new patient is a baby being born usually. So it can be a family moving into an area or a baby being born. And so um, that's one of the key drivers for success in a pediatric practice. And so that was another manual calculation in Excel that that practice or the pediatric practices are, are doing. And we've helped them automate that as well. So the brain of our tool really helps bring that business intelligence to their data and use it in a meaningful way. Wow, that's, that's, that's really, really helpful. I had no idea, but of course that makes sense that pediatricians would do, um, would, would determine based on how many people are being born. Yeah, I mean, it's just a different element to thinking when you think about retail and what people buy, you know, we like what colors we like and Mm -hmm. where we live. And so it's just translating that over to pediatricians or different specialties within medicine. Each subspecialty has its own individual or specific business drivers that help them, you know, gain success. So that's really how a healthcare provider would use your solution with Azure. That's correct. They would register for Data DX via the Azure portal, and our staff would do everything else from that point. All the practice manager or physician leader would need to do is log in and see their reports via our web app. We try to make it as easy as possible using the Azure resources. So, how can customers find out more about the Data DX solution and procure it through the Azure Marketplace? There's a link bit.ly forward slash 3A capital Y-R-T W-C. Or you can simply search Data DX in the Azure Marketplace. Thank you. And just for everyone watching, there will be that link in the show notes so you don't have to take notes. So how do you think that partnering with Microsoft helped Data DX scale and grow your business? We've really valued our relationship with Microsoft. I mean, first and foremost, the brand recognition that Microsoft provides is very positive and physicians see that as, as good reputability um, for our company. It's, it's often, they're impressed by that. Um, so that's been really good for our reputation market-wide. They feel more confident in the platform knowing that we're part of the certified startup program as an example, which has been an honor to be a part of. And some of the resources afforded through Microsoft, um, we, we at, at startup wouldn't simply have been able to afford Power BI experts and Azure credits in the cloud and this marketplace um, opportunity have all been amazing benefits. 
Um, and the Azure pricing tiers allow us to scale up at the right time, and we just pay for what we need. So there's a flexible approach to working with a small business or startup like ourselves um, for cloud computing products. And it gives us a budget or an advantage from a budgetary perspective. Wow, that's, that's really exciting. So how do people connect with you? There's a few ways. You can find us at datadx.com. And that's just data, D-A-T-A-D-X dot com. Um, on LinkedIn, it's linkedin.com forward slash company slash data DX. And then on Instagram and Twitter, it's at data DX insights. Well, thank you. And, and again, that will be in the, the show notes as well. So how can people find out more information about Microsoft partnership opportunities for healthcare partners? Um, for more information on that, you can send an email to healthcare industry or healthcare end expert, which will be in the notes, I assume, at Microsoft.com. Yeah. Well, do you, do you have any parting words of wisdom that you'd like to share? I do. Thanks for asking. You know, clinics nationwide are working to overcome unprecedented operation demands and disruption. Some are questioning whether to shut down how and when they should reopen, whether they should join a, a super group, be bought out by private equity into a hospital. There's a huge overwhelming demand on services all at the same time. So there's a lot of struggles within the industry. We want to help them make their business operations easier for them so that they can make these decisions in an educated way. So no matter, so no matter what the situation, one common thread holds true throughout medical practices. And we need to closely monitor financial and operational impacts on their business. And that's what our tool aims to do. Um, you know, having the ability to understand the days of the cash on hand or the staffing loads or inventory and just making sure that you have accurate and timely information is huge. It, it is incredibly huge, especially now. Mm -hmm. So, so thank you so much for, for, for that wisdom. Um, and I just have another question. You know, you really have touched upon such a critical problem and, you know, I'm just interested, what was your passion? What, how did you notice this problem and what made you want to develop this startup? Cause it's really, really such a great and needed tool. Oh, thank you. I actually used to be a practice leader. I spent the first half of my career working side by side with physicians, running their practices. And we always had a project or a new initiative that we wanted to embark upon, but we never had the right information. And so I'd go make reports and I'd spend at least 20 hours a week putting together reports, pulling them from QuickBooks or Centricity. That was our practice management system at one, one of the groups that I worked with. And inevitably, I would consolidate all of that information into Excel. And that was about 45 days old, sometimes even 90, just depending on the timing of the month and how the billing office um, was able to keep up with the charges the physicians would um, give them after seeing a patient. However, after doing all of that work and making these reports, usually nine times out of 10, there would be an error in the report because I'm human and I'm literally hand keying all of these numbers <laughs> into Excel, which is not a common problem, or it is a common problem, better said. Um, but what it does is when you take that into the boardroom and you have a mistake on your report, it changes the entire conversation with your doctors. Instead of you know talking about the topic at hand and those you know, the integrity of the numbers and the reports are compromised. And obviously it's not in a malicious or intentional way. It was an accident, but you have to go back and, you know, correct that and then come, you know, so it's not this live really heartfelt with good data driven type of decision-making. It was more emotional and then it would breach trust in the reports and it would actually then delay really important business decisions like hiring a physician, you know, how to change the capacity demands on the facility, how to pay our new physicians coming on board, um, or if we wanted to add another location. I mean, those were all things that could help with growth and making sure that it's a sustainable model or even negotiating contracts with the health plans. That's a struggle of every, you know, small to medium sized medical 
practice is having a good information to negotiate contracts because if you don't have it's the old adage with contract negotiation you know you need scale and size to really lever off of and they just simply don't have it so that's where the idea from data dx was really born from was spending hours and hours building reports and then trying to have meaningful conversations with physician leaders and I just knew there had to be a better way, it needed to be automated in real time, and it needed to um, have integrity and, and be more accurate. Wow, that is such a great story. And it's just so nice also to see, you know, female entrepreneurs who see a problem and it's a critical problem and they find a solution to it and then take it through to completion. I think that's great. I think it's very admirable. Thank so. you. I that. Kate, I would love to thank you for coming on the show and sharing your insights and wisdom. Oh, thank you, Tyler. I appreciate you having me here today. It was fun.